I sentence you both to 15 years imprisonment. For once, the guilty were caught. You son of a bitch. I'll get you for this, Salinger, you hear me? I swear to God, I'll get you. If it wasn't for you and your sketches, we wouldn't have nailed those bastards. Daddy! Ah. But this time... I love you, Daddy. Daddy loves you too, sweetheart. The innocent will pay. We're going to have to make an example of this artiste. We'll take care of him, Mr. Montoro. It can't be done on the streets. We'll have to get him on the inside. Can They set him up. They got him nailed on two counts. Possession and dealing. We find the defendant guilty on both counts. And hereby sentence you to three years imprisonment, of which two years are suspended. They sent him away. Time to initiate you to our private club. They took everything he had. That's scary. But she gave me something to show you. And she asked me to tell you. She loves you. And he loves you too, sweetheart. <laughs> Hit me. Be quick. Quicker than I think. There's Daddy. Oh, he had to go away. Uh -oh. He must find escape on the inside. But don't worry. We'll get him. To seek justice on the outside. You see him. Kill him. Your fish is hooked. He's on his way. I need your help, man. But his world has been destroyed. His wife has been murdered. soldier of war. You are not ready. You are angry. You still have to find a way. Show me how, and I will. You must first be one with the way of the warrior. Where balance becomes force and speed becomes power. I too have lost someone I love. You are a true warrior. All right, here's the plan. Caleb, please don't go. Please don't go. Now, the trap is set. His name's Montoro. Montoro. There's a shipment coming in tonight at the harbor, Pier 46. Ah! Because I'm going to take care of it personally. The fuse is lit. And the warrior is unleashed. Where is my daughter? Just keep it straight. Slowly. Slowly. 
Whoa, look out! Oh, sir, please. Don't blame me, Charlie. I can't see you. Let's see all this baby corners. Corners? Oh, now you can't corner the clock, Colonel. Left, right, one o'clock, two o'clock. Speak to me, son. Uh, 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 right. Now? No, 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 not now. Now. Uh, no, wait. Here we go. Oh, boy. Here we go. Uh, wait, wait. OK, now. Whoa. I love this. Uh, sir, you're going to need to stop. What? Pull over? No, sir, hit the brakes now. I always wanted to drive a performance car. Well, it is a Sentra, sir. I knew that. Yeah, of course you did, sir. Oh, boy. Look at it. They're talking about us, Evelyn. A baby was stolen in Bramfontein yesterday. They're appealing for information. I don't want to read it. Ring any bells, Evelyn? Don't. Oh, there's still more. They also talk about a baby snatch that took place seven years ago. They're wondering where the child might be now. What am I supposed to do? I'm guilty as charged. I've just escaped sentencing in public. They're appealing to us, Evelyn. We bury the truth, but it's a shallow grave, isn't it? There's nothing we can do now. Evelyn, please. See Andy Bosley. I told you I don't need a psychiatrist. I just want you to think about it. Carefully. And give you ammunition, should you ever try and take Dawn away from me. I can't do that. You know that. But your behavior has affected us all. Don't inflict upon the child the kind of anguish you continue to inflict upon us. You could destroy her. I won't do anything to hurt Dawn. Then why the diaries? It's important. To expunge your guilt. Well, that bloody well should be. Because if you don't see a priest or psychiatrist, then you need to do something. One day I'll be able to explain to her. You're mad. You're truly without reason. You don't destroy another life that way. Do you believe that this will be some kind of heritage for her? Or is it a daily confession that serves to ease your own conscience? If you must continue, then do so for the right reasons. And then destroy it! Evelyn, can't you see it? Can't you? See what? The pain you're going to cause that child when finally she reads what you've written. destroying the people that you say you love most. Croatia, once part of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, is a land world famous for its art, its wines, its culture, and not least, the motion picture industry. Currently filming on location in Zagreb, James Ryan, who joins the international cast of Edgar Allan Poe's Tales of Mystery and Imagination. This is a rather privileged situation. Privileged from the point of view that I'm doing a fascinating series based on the stories of Ed Edgar Allan Poe. And I have the privilege of playing the character Edgar Allan Poe. Um, a character of whom I knew little before this film but whom I fully understand at this present moment. I understand his tragedy and his sorrow and his romance and his insanity. And I think that the series itself is a unique project for the people that have undertaken to make it. The joint South African-Croatian co-production is a new and exciting exploration into the dark dimensions of the haunted world of Edgar Allan Poe. Tales of Mystery and Imagination is hosted by the veteran horror legend Christopher Lee. Edgar Allan Poe undeniably lived in a fantasy world, a world inhabited by dreams, obsessions, and images that were as frightening as those which haunted his own life. In a film of this kind, in, in making this kind of production, when you are dealing with the Gothic period, that is to say, Poe's own period, the Victorian era, 
mood is the operative word. We're working with people of huge quality. We're working with extremely, extremely high qualified technicians, very, very good actors and actresses. That's a lot of the charm of this particular series, is that we're working with people, uh, actors, who are not fluent in English, but who are extremely good actors. It's no different being an actor from being a technician. Everything is a challenge, and it should be a challenge, because otherwise you become boring, or you become bored, and if you become bored, you can be certain that the audience will be bored. It's gathered a momentum of its own, and I think it's, it's, uh, it's reached a point that the emotional responses that happen throughout this production happen in spite of themselves. Maximia Park, in the heart of Zagreb, becomes an East Coast American country meadow. It's all part of the illusion created by the movie-making team in their desire to bring Edgar Allan Poe's tales of mystery and imagination to the small screen. Stylish costumes and handsome homes become the setting for the majesty of Edgar Allan Poe's poetry and passion. And amongst the galaxy of acting talent, European star Nada Gesecic, starring as Maria Clem. Through Maria's encouragement and understanding, Edgar finds first the road to success, to despair, and finally to death. My feeling is, we've done a great job. And everybody who's going to look at this is not just looking at the completion of work, but looking at a great achievement. So when I talk about a challenge, we have certainly had that challenge in this particular instance. We have overcome it. There was an anticipation, an empathy, a caring and a love and an energy that couldn't be held down. And I think that's where the growth of the series has begun. And if it's going to go any further than that, I want to be part of it till the end. The raven never flitting, still is sitting, still is sitting. On the pallid bust of Pallas just above my chamber door, and his eyes of all the seeming of the demons that is dreaming, and the lamplight where he's streaming throws his shadow on the floor. And my soul from out that shadow that lies floating on the floor shall be lifted. Take a seat. Yeah, I can see fine here. Which one is your boy, Max? <laughs> <laughs> you mean what's with the heavyweight, George? Huh? Yeah. Well, uh, he's uh, uh, a part of the training program. A uh, kid gets to know all sizes, you know? Looks like a very interesting way to train. Yeah. Maybe he should train with the corpse next. <laughs> yeah, corpse could throw too many moves. <laughs> Is this a clown act or what? Well, look, I mean, I can't see what's going on here. I mean, this just ain't the right place. No, no, I'm sorry. Which one of the top ten contenders has a chance against you? None of them. Which one do you want to find next? The one that'll draw the most money. Champ is talking about Kitten McCoy. Is this an official challenge for the welterweight crown? You bet your ass it is. You boys think that's the money fight? Well, he's the number one contender and the public love him. 
Ought to be one hell of a fight. No, no contest. My boy will whip his butt in three rounds. Talk is cheap. Kid McCoy would be the next welterweight champion of the world as soon as Mr. Ryan stops running. The only running I'm gonna be doing is to the bank. I thank you, my brothers. Now I beg of you, provision for my men. Your husband is a very foolish man. We have received no reply. We have sent the Americans in answer to our proposals. Where are you taking us? When we reach your destination, you may speak with your husband and fill him. What have you done to Miss Cooper? Oh, she is unharmed. I want to speak to her. I demand to see her. Demand? Yes, Highness. You may see her in Rasa. That is where I have sent her. If they have not buried our head yet. <laughs> 